I'm here to get this charcoal started. Got a couple little pieces of paper I put in there. A little recycle sack. I'm gonna convert that energy over into heat. A couple pieces of cardboard. That's what uh what it say, right? Matter, energy is not created or destroyed. It only changes form. So I'm gonna change the form of this, these guys. I'm gonna change the form of that energy in the in the heat. And why do you think I'm gonna wear these construction gloves? I right, recycle that. Oh shit, got this one right here too. Oh shit, I'm gonna use that as a fan. Hmm. Now look, put that under there. Guaranteed, this shit gonna start. I'm gonna leave that fucking lighter on there. Probably not good if I do that. Beautiful girl coming out here. Now I, I think gave her that shirt, but she cut it off. We got a little tummy peeking out, baby. Looking so beautiful. You got some more candine for the grill? I need some more candine to put on the grill, baby. Bring some more candine. Why are you so pretty? I got one question for you, baby. You ready for them questions? Bakadi Kamaganda Pate. Mmm, my fucking didn't know. I speak a little Tagalog and Chinese too. I tell you folks, these, these sunny days here in the Philippines, it's hot. Ain't nothing like getting a little sweat on when you're drunk. Got a good chew of back one. I'm gonna jeep me rolling through. When that sun is beating down, it's hot. I ain't gonna lie. When well, it goes behind them clouds, it's beautiful. A little bit of cool breeze coming through, but you know what happens when you sweat? You get that sweat going on, that breeze comes through. What's it called? Convection? Evaporation? No, it's evaporation cooling. I told her, I said, bring it on. Now, it's nowhere near when I usually start my barbecue, but I'm just out here on my Speedo working on my tan. I'm ready to go to work. Let's do it. Pour me another round. Turn around, baby. Let me see the back of them shorts. Oh my goodness, baby, you so hot. I didn't even light the lighter when she put them shorts on, my friends. My goodness, the charcoal just started up automatically. Oh yeah, wife number one's silver shorts was so hot. All she did was walk out here, and the damn fire had a just automatic combustion my goodness look at this she want me to fry that chicken fry them taters i sent her for some onions i'm always i'm gonna make some blooming fucking onions that's what i'm making once you get it going turn the temperature up on it that's all you gotta do caveman i cook over fire i to survive and i thrive off the of smoke all right, now look, as I tell you before, I don't put the large 3.2 quart cast iron combo cooker. Made in America by the good folks down in South Pittsburgh, Tennessee, my friends. I don't put it on that because that's too flimsy on my Ace Hardware grill. All right, I set it straight, straight on homemade coals so it don't break the, the thing over there. Get a little bit left. How much we got in there? I've got a little bit, yeah. All right, put that down there in reserve. Got the tunes coming to you from down there. Got this big chicken right here. And let me just put a little, put a little heat on it. Ice cold beer never broke my heart. Let my sunshine. Coming in the in the palm tree with them coconuts up in there about to drop down. You just put that right on the coals. Don't put it on there because that thing's too flimsy. 
and let that steam start doing the sizzle gazizzle mazizzle i'm gonna put some oil in there i think that's this is some retread oil right here that's recycled oil as long as they don't cook fish in that shit if they cook fish in it and then try to cook chicken all right it's no good but if you cook chicken or pork and recycle the oil it's cool but if you put fish in there then the chicken gonna taste like fish let that thing get hot do the sizzle sizzle stick some oil in there i'm going with the skippy the skippy retread oil and we frying chicken so i'm going with the whole thing folks i might have to put a little more in there a little skippy retread oil no tell them how old that is but oil once you heat it up it's gonna kill all them pathogens not them pathogens them pathogens give it a little turn right there flatten it out let that oil get heated up and in it's going the guest of honor and wipe number one has just slammed his ass full of garlic and onions my god all right let me go with the let me go with the coca-cola oil too because we're frying chicken i don't know how much i should put baby how much oil should i put on here all of it yeah. all of it yeah. baby listen Whoa. yeah don't step on that charcoal over there i'm sorry baby that's hot did it burn oh my goodness <laughs> folks milk does a body good and so does a bunch of ice cream. All right, folks, all you do is let this oil, combination of the Coca-Cola Coca -Cola oil and the Skippy Retread oil. Oh yeah, I'm making some blooming, blooming mother onions, okay? My goodness. Check the temperature on this oil. And she brought out my, my big tongs, folks. I'm just gonna grab this big bird, look. Today I'm shooting on the GoPro because I have my phone in there uploading. That's why I didn't grab my iPhone. So I got the GoPro in one hand and lamps and sharp. This bird's a little bit limp. Babe, what's the name of this bird? Chicken! It's Alfred. Here we go, folks. Here we go. Alfred swimming. He's swimming in the, in the juice. Thank you, baby. We got Alfred swimming up in the oil, my friends. Swimming in the juice. We got garlic and onion. Go, Alfred, go. Alfred coming in off the top ropes with the smack down. In this manner, you got to understand that once the charcoal plays out, your pot's going to do the gangster ass lean. And that's that can be dangerous. So you, you shouldn't be doing what I'm doing. But I put some new charcoal in there. Now Alfred is doing the motherfucking gangster lean that way. Now very slowly what I'm gonna do is turn Alfred around and balance his ass out. Now I should put a leveler. Look, I want to invent a leveler to put right here and it's patent pending. You can put a leveler so you know if, the, if it's level. Now you wanna know why I wear fucking construction gloves? That's fucking hot. And I'm dealing with fucking charcoal like a goddamn caveman. Listening to Peter B from Nashville, Tennessee, Tussies. Me and my old man up there partying like rock stars. I got a sun going down through the palm tree with coconuts up there. If you can't see them coconuts, about to set over my mountains. My God, I'm overlooking Times Square and all the action that's going on. I mean, I'm excited about getting him done, but what I'm really excited about is these blooming onions. And I should tell her to go get me about 20 more of them dogs. And folks, I'm sweating like a hooker, sitting uh, in church on Sunday with no air conditioning, sitting on the front pew. That's how bad I'm sweating. A fucking, fucking hose sitting on the front row down at Baptist Church. Jet flying limousine riding women loving. I like big butts and I can't lie. You other brothers can't deny. Give me another beer, baby. Chop, chop. Quickly. I'm going to Jackson. Time to turn Alfred. Hold it. Alfred. Cooperate, motherfucker. I don't want to take your leg off. Oh, shit. Oh, that's a real good turn right there. Look at Alfred's neck. 
Filipino wife number one chopped this. Why didn't you leave the head on the Alfred? That's not cool if I chop that. <laughs> there ain't nothing like drinking beer, getting a chew to the back up, putting on some good country music from Tootsie's. Coming to you from Tootsie's in Nashville, Tennessee, right in the middle of the and giving everybody a big because we partying like rock stars and folks take one more look at alfred here i mean he's gonna need a little while but we we are not gonna serve no rhyme before they time what you gotta love about places like this i'm not the only one cooking over fire you see that smoke over there they're not burning trash they're cooking food i got dogs barking birds chirping roosters crowing loud tricycles and somewhere in the bushes there could be a chipmunk humping a turtle what movie is that from a little bit more charcoal here to keep alfred going and let me just show you what we got here i put the charcoal here to get it going but at some point i'm gonna have to lift this up scoot the charcoal under there to keep alfred going I'm gonna cast iron the heat is playing out here I'm putting more heat here because I can add it. But let me show you all you gotta do to change the heat. But when you're frying it, it don't really matter. But all I'm doing is turning it and I'm changing the heat. That's it. You cannot be cooking with cast iron like a caveman. And I flipped, I flipped Alfred one more time for the record. And look, yeah, it's taking a long time, but folks, you can't, if you want great food, you can't rush perfection. In the words of uh What's that chick's name on uh, Yellowstone? It's something about good shit ain't cheap and cheap shit ain't good. Well, you want fast food? Eat cheap mother piece of chicken. Go right up the road to Jollibee. You'll get the cheapest. If you want the, the most delicious taste in chicken in the world, you'll fucking wait on me. Settle down, settle down. Easy greasy, easy greasy. I just flipped Alfred. And he got the oil all excited and was upset. Settle down, Alfred. Easy greasy. Are you trying to do a taste tester? <laughs> Baby. Oh my goodness. Just don't mess with Alfred anymore, baby. Can I get an A, man? Folks, I want to thank everybody for joining me on tonight's fried chicken video i want to thank alfred for uh sacrificing his life so that i may live and we're just having a great time folks i got a beautiful wife number one over here later on wife number two is coming up always she's coming up every night of course she's still taking a nap which means that he's gonna be up till about two in the morning but hey you know what he's the prince He's the prince of this operation. And look at this girl right here. Baby, stop, stop eating. Baby, stop eating this. Yeah. That's more than a taste tester. You don't understand a taste test. That's it, that's it. Stop, stop eating my cracklings over there. My God, look at them cracklings. Are they delicious? recommends that we add the potato the potatoes put them in there baby production like this folks now chicken ribs what happened to all the garlic cracklings all right folks i'm gonna be honest with you don't tell wife number one but i went in for a taste test and i ended up eating every one of them just don't tell her 
I don't think she watched my videos, so she's not gonna know. <laughs> Alfred, it's almost done. I got the solar lights kicking in. The sun has set. Check out them solar lights over there. We got a dude over here in a road guard vest. And folks, if you want to make money and you're homeless, buy a road guard vest and a fucking whistle. And people will fucking give you money to help you park or whatever. Well, he's got a flashlight too. God damn, he's fucking straight. That's a smart motherfucker. Road guard vest, flashlight, a whistle. That motherfucker makes more money than me. Because people think that he's in charge of parking, which he's not. He's just some fucking dude that lives over here. But you know what? Your perception is he's in charge. He do what he says. And if he blows that whistle, you give him 20 pesos to go away. I mean, they do the same shit in countries, in, or, uh, countries around the world. Places in America. Look at Alfred. It's time to get Alfred out of the fryer. Horse G, get ready to eat, son. Alfred has left the building. It's time to, it's time to get all, all the players out of the pool. Let's join Alfred over here. The taters are done, the onions are done. Well, folks, I just cooked for hours. I cooked for hours to cook Alfred and his friends, Mr. Onion, Mr. Tater, and Mr. Garlic and Mr. Onion. All right, folks, I want to thank you for joining me on tonight's video. Yeah! I like big butts and I cannot lie. You other brothers can't deny. If you're not a subscriber on my channel, bottom right hand corner of your screen, Smash that overstay road sign, food, beer, visas, bad behavior, travel, beautiful ladies, bad behavior, mother. Hit it. Hit the notification bell because I ain't got no production schedule. And I appreciate it. And I want to say thanks to my 26,700 plus subscribers who took the time to click that subscribe button. I love each and every one of you. Thank you very much. Baby, hey, wait, whoa. How's the chicken, baby? How is it? Mm -hmm. How's Alfred? Delicious. Are you sure? Mm -hmm. It's good, no good, or delicious? Delicious. Okay, well, you gotta go check for his G, baby. You're in here eating. He's in there probably like tearing down the TV. Folks, I'll see you in the next one. Hit that subscribe button. Peace out. I'll see you on the next one.